Alright, so let's open a G develop. Or is it open already? It's nothing new, it's the worm project we have been working on. So here is the project of the worm. And uh, you can see that now I can collect the apples. My score goes up by 10 every time I collect an apple. Alright, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, let's um, get started. First, let's run this. And uh, you can see that um, there is nothing in the level except for you can scroll and jump. So the first thing we're going to need is an apple. Okay, so let's uh, insert a new object. It's going to be a sprite. Let's import the apple. Let's uh, insert the apple. Where is the apple? Let's see. There's my apple there. So maybe we should rename this uh, to apple. Let me edit this. There is our icon. Let's run this. There is our apple. But we can't collect it. Let me uh, enable the grid here. So we can um, place a few apples here. One over here. Maybe two here. And another two here. Let's go to events and um, this is a new event. This is going to be um, collisions. Collision between the worm and the apple. Okay. If that happens, we are going to destroy uh, the apple. Now, where was that? Uh, that was under um, objects. We're going to delete an object. It's going to be the apple. And let's try it out. Let's see. Whoa, now we can collect the apples. Okay, that one maybe is a little too high there. I cannot collect that one. Make sure you leave something there so you can collect those apples. So now we need to create a score. Okay, let's do that now. Let's insert a new... Um, text object. If you don't have this enabled, just double click on it. Let's see. It's just going to be called text. Cool. So right click on your level and uh, let's modify initial variables. Okay. We already have one here. It's called player alive. That's from the uh, previous tutorial. So let's add a new one. This one is going to be called uh, uh, let's just call it score. Score. Hit OK. Now if you run the game, you notice that nothing happens. Okay. So let's go to events. And uh, on the line 7, okay, no condition, we're going to display the uh, variable on our text. So let's go to text. Modify text and the text we want to modify is the new one we just created which is this one So we want to display the variable there variables scene variables Score And we don't need these uh, quotations Let's hit the OK button and uh, Yeah, let's uh, run this. Let's run the scene and you can see that now our text displays zero. The score scrolls with the rest of the background. Okay, we don't want that. Now to fix that, we are simply going to put the text in a different layer. So let's go to the layer editor. And uh, let's add a new layer. Okay, maybe we can rename this. Let's call it... Um, we call this one GUI. Graphic user interface. You can call it whatever you want. And let's place this under our new layer, which is GUI. And uh, that layer doesn't scroll, alright? So that's not going to scroll now. Let's uh, collect the apples. And that seems to work fine. Whoa, I cannot still reach those apples. What's going on? So now we just need to add 10 to the score every time we collect an apple. Let's 
go to events and uh, when we collect the apple let's go to uh, variables um, it's gonna be a uh, value variables score variable and it's gonna be plus one I cannot see my keyboard oh it's so dark here it's gonna be plus one or oh, actually plus ten did I mention I cannot see my keyboard there we go ten and let's preview this collect the apples and now we have a score whoa that was super easy maybe we can add some enemies and all that fun stuff like the video and I will see you in the next episode bye now